What's up everybody? I am Shatanshu from Dream Abroad and in this video I've got some key updates for all of those people who have recently got the ITA for Canadian PR in the last couple of months or are expecting that they should clear the cutoff and they should get the ITA in the next couple of months because there's been a big change in the rules that Canada has just introduced today. Also, finally, there's an update for all of those people as well whose confirmation of permanent residence have expired. Maybe they got the uh, COPR last year and their COPR, the travel document, has actually expired. So finally, we have some instructions from IRCC what to do next for you guys as well. So in this video, we are going to talk exactly about those two topics. If you're interested, stay tuned. Okay guys, the first update is for all of those people who are expecting an ITA in the upcoming months. Maybe the FSW draws will get conducted, maybe not. We don't know, but if you're expecting an ITA in the next couple of months, there's a big change that Canada has introduced. After getting the ITA, you will now get 60 days time to submit your application. And this rule would be valid for all of those people who get the ITAs in the upcoming draws. All those people who have already received the ITAs in the last couple of months, you'll still get 90 days time. But all of those people who would get the ITAs in the upcoming draws from July onwards, you would all get 60 days only from time of your ITA till you submit your application. Actually, this time gap was two months or 60 days earlier as well. But after the pandemic started, the world started getting locked down. Obviously, it would be very difficult for people to get the uh, documents. So Canada actually extended it till 90 days, but things have started to get back to normal now. And they have reintroduced the old rule that you would get 60 days time to submit all the documents uh, after you get the ITA. Now, this might not be a very big update, but you see, first of all, they eased out the travel restrictions for fully vaccinated travelers. Then they allowed all those uh, COPR who have valid documents to enter Canada. And now they have also um, changed the rule back to those times when there was no COVID. So things have started to get back to normal once again. And I really hope these are the signs that they would be conducting the all program draws once again. Last year also they resumed the all program draws in July. And now when things are getting a lot better here in Canada, they have eased out all these restrictions. There are signs that the all program draws might be started once again. So I'm really hopeful and just keeping my fingers crossed. Okay, last week I told you the big update that Canada has finally allowed all the COPR holders to enter Canada. But that was for all of those COPR holders who had a valid COPR. But what about those whose COPR was expired or maybe expiring sometime soon? So for all of those people, Canada has released some instructions today that all of those people would be getting an email from IRCC sometime soon. And uh, they would be asked if they're still interested to come to Canada. If yes, they might be asked for some information once again, maybe about your marital status. Maybe there's a newborn, newborn baby in your family. So they would need to know all of that. And also apart from that, they might ask you about uh, a new police clearance certificate or uh, maybe a medical test as well but you don't have to get all those documents up front you don't have to go for the medical test right away only if they ask you to do so you have to do that I'll take you to the official page of uh, the government of Canada and uh, quickly go through the instructions that they've listed out there so here they have clearly mentioned that if you have an expired COPR you won't be able to travel to Canada until they reissue the documents They've already contacted most people with expired COPRs issued on or before March 18, 2020. And they're also working to contact anyone else with expired COPRs, including those issued after March 18, 2020. What happens next? They'll send you an email about your application. If the answer to your email tells that you still want to come to Canada, then they'll tell you what next to do. They might ask you for new medicals or some updated information. If you don't respond, they'll keep your file closed and you'll have to reapply when you are ready to come to Canada. Here they've clearly mentioned that when they email you, they'll ask if your family situation has changed so that they can update your application and ask for any other documents. They might also need updated 
police clearance certificates or medical exam certificates as well but you don't need to get an medical exam up front you have to get it only if they ask you to do so i remember the days when i submitted my pr application i was too impatient i used to check my emails every now and then probably 20 to 25 times a day in a hope that i'll get the golden mail sometime soon obviously you don't need to get that impatient but you still need to check your emails regularly if you get an email from ircc don't ignore that email you have to reply to that email as early as possible and obviously provide them the updated information and if they ask for any other documents you have to provide them that as well i hope to see you here in canada someday or the other i hope that you achieve your canadian dream sometime very soon so thanks a lot for watching this video guys if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please click the subscribe button that's very important if you have any questions any queries please put it down in the comment section below i'll try to reply to each of your query though it's very difficult but i'll try my best thanks a lot for watching this video